Welcome to GearShare. Today we look at my new Jackson X-Series Signature Marty Friedman MF1. How's it going guys? Um, it's been 48 days since I've unboxed this awesome looking guitar. Um, there's been a lot of questions uh, about the fit and finish and I'm going to get right into that. Um, first I want to say that Agufish has already done a review and a demo on it. He did a great job on it. Um, his uh, opinion of it was a little subjective but I'm going to tell you what I think. Uh, straight out of the box, the tuning keys, well, they are what they are. They're the stock tuning keys. They were top locking. Didn't stay in tune, just like he said. Um, I ordered some locking tuners for it. Uh, I will put a link in the video description uh, where you can get those. They're great. They work well. The guitar stays in tune awesome now. Um, in the 48 days that I've had it, I have not played any of my other guitars because this thing has played like a dream and I have totally bonded with it. Um, there's been some issues. When I got it out of the box, the input jack, it was loose. Minor details, tick screwdriver and whatnot. Tightened it up. Um, toggle switch sucked in it. Um, just like he said, real loose in there. What I did was I ordered one. I'll put a link in the video description also for that toggle switch. Now it's super tight and um, has a great feel to it. Um, the fretboard was extremely dry looking, which I thought that was a little bit odd. Um, I used the Dunlop Ultimate Lemon Oil on it. I put my uh, Diodario NYXL 10 and 52 strings on it with some Dunlop strap locks, and we were good to go. Um, I think what I'll do is, um, I'm not gonna do like a playthrough, because like I said, Agufish has already done a demo, so you've already probably seen his demo and heard his playthroughs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it in a mix of what I do. I'm going to use the bias effects with a PV6505 Plus, and yeah, here we go, let's do it.
for you for today, guys. I just want to add a couple more things. First of all, this thing retails at Guitar Center for $699. I'm a valued customer and I get these discount coupons all the time. The one I used for this instrument, I got $105 off. So I used that towards the upgrades, drastically helped, made it be the guitar that it should have been. Um, also, check out my most recent guitar cover for Trivium, Built to Fall. I'll put the link in the video description. Uh, make sure to follow all my social media platforms. I will periodically update uh, progress on new co covers, new events, new things that I got going on. Um, don't forget, subscribe, like, and share. We'll see you again next time on Gear Share.